let's talk about the best vendor cybersecurity certifications. We're going to separate the mid slash professional level and the expert level. This is actually the continuation of best IT certifications associate level. And if you've already started an associate level certification, whether it's a security focus or more generic, you may want to continue moving to another level. But this focus heavily on cybersecurity solutions. This time, no open source, no vendor neutral certifications. A lot of people are hesitant to take vendor specific certifications. I don't really get it. Having a vendor specific certifications will give you an advantage working with system integrators. Sometimes we call this VAR or value added reseller. You can also work with managed services, IT distributors, or even top vendor companies themselves. Here is another fact. If you want to work with these top vendors, don't you think it's an advantage if you already have their certifications? Not only that, when you started working with vendor one, for example, maybe after a few years, you can jump and work with vendor two, three, etc. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am career and certification captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, three venue tutorials in cybersecurity, three venue tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. First, we have CCNP security or Cisco Certified Network Professional in security. This actually upgrades your skills to implement, maintain, and troubleshoot Cisco security solutions. A lot of people doesn't know these, but it actually covers very minimal routing and switching because all of these has been covered in CCNA. So CCNP security, to gain this certification, you're required to pass only two exams. The first exam is the core exam and the other exam is the concentration. This gives you an idea which security specialization you would like to take. This can be next generation firewall. This is the Cisco Firepower solution. For VPN technologies, this is actually multi-platform. This can be your routers, Cisco ASA, and Cisco Firepower as well. You can also specialize in email security. We have Cisco ESA or email security appliance. And we also have IEM technologies. This is the Cisco ICE or Identity Service Engine. And the other two is specializing in web proxy and automation. The good thing about this certification is once you pass the core exam, you're now eligible to take the CCIE Security Lab exam. And for every exam you take and pass, you will get a specialist certification. For example, if you pass S Core, the core exam, you will now get Cisco Certified Specialist Security Core. And if you pass SNCF, stands for Securing Networks with Cisco Firepower, you will now get Cisco Certified Specialist Network Security Firepower. For F5, we have F5 CTS or Certified Technical Specialist. And we have three security certifications in total. But the one that I will highly recommend is F5 CTS in ASM because this is the only valuable web application firewall or WAF specific certification out there. It covers web vulnerabilities, web attacks, and creating web application firewall or WAF security policies to implement many web application protection. And let me highlight this. Next generation firewall is not enough in securing your web applications because many attackers or hackers can bypass your next generation firewall and launch attack payload directly to your web applications. We also have F5 CTS in LTM. This is known for load balancing and traffic management features. It's a generic application delivery controller certification, but it highlights some of the best practices in securing your applications as well using F5 Big IP, of course. And lastly, we have F5 CTS APM. 
APM stands for Access Policy Manager. It's a remote access SSL VPN plus IAM solutions running in F5 Big IP. Next, Fortinet NSE. NSE stands for Network Security Expert. So Fortinet has these level one to up to level eight certification. One to three or level one to three is entry level. Level four is associate level focusing on Fortinet FortiGate. Level five, six, and seven are considered mid slash professional levels. And I already mentioned this many times that I'm not a big fan of too many levels and too many certification exams. But anyway, first is the NSE5 analyst. This is specific to network security management and analytics using Fortinet security devices. And it requires two exams. All of the exams are based on Fortinet platforms for analysis, such as Forti Analyzer, Forti CM, Forti Manager, Forti Client, etc. Next is NSE6 Specialist. This is specializing in fabric product beyond firewall. Requires four exams. Too bad. All of the exams are based on Fortinet specialized platforms, such as Forti ADC, Forti Web, Forti NAC, Forti Mail, Forti Web, Forti Switch, and Forti, etc. And lastly, we have NEC7 Architect. They call it more advanced skills in deploying, administering, and troubleshooting Fortinet security solutions. And you have to take only one exam for this. But this is from various options, such as advanced analytics, advanced threat protection, enterprise firewall, public cloud security, and many more. Next, PCNSE, or Palo Alto Networks, Certified Network Security Engineer. Unfortunately, other certifications from this vendor are not really popular. Although the Prisma Cloud, both the solution and the certification is quite promising. PCNSE is enough to be honest with you. It's actually not a bad idea to specialize in next generation firewall solutions. So you can compare Palo Alto Next Generation Firewall, Cisco Firepower, and Fortinet FortiGate. PCNSE is one of the most popular and respected cybersecurity vendor specific certification as it validates the knowledge and the skills required to design, install, configure, and maintain Palo Alto Networks, Next Generation Firewalls, and other security solutions. All of these vendors, except for F5, provides Next Generation Firewall solutions, meaning it can do firewall inspection, VPN, IPS, etc. Now, IPS is something that is very valuable, especially if you want to move to SOC environment, more of threat hunting or network security analyst role. Learning Web Application Firewall or WAF is also very important. It's a solution that is difficult to implement and difficult to manage, but highly effective. Also, this vendors provides central management and analysis tools. This will actually help you in analyzing threats, exploits, attacks, and will help you become a better cybersecurity professional.